Just a reminder, you can watch full episodes on my app or join me at JoyceMeyer.org. I'll see you soon. I want to talk to you this afternoon. Just a little message that God dropped in my heart one afternoon and I wrote it down called stay in your own lane. You know, uh, if you think about driving a car, if you drift out of your lane, you're likely to get in a wreck or cause a wreck. And our lives are the same way. We need to know what our lane is and get in it and stay in it. And you know, when, when you find out what your sweet spot is or what it is that you're supposed to be doing, what you're gifted for and talented for, the devil will use any number of ways to try to get you out of it. And one of the things that happens is we begin to compare ourselves with other people and maybe we're not doing what they're doing and maybe it looks like what they're doing is more important or it's better than what we're doing and so we fall into the trap and I think everybody probably does this at least once in their life. For some people it's a lifetime problem of trying to be something that they're not. We think that we should be like this one or like that one. We should look like you or act like you or behave like you or be able to do what you do. And not only do we think that, but a huge mistake that human beings make is they think if they're good at something that everybody else should be good at that too. Come on now. How many of you get frustrated at other people that you're in relationship with because they can't do it as fast as you do it or, or the way you do it or, or they can't do it at all? Maybe, maybe it's your children. Maybe it's somebody that you're married to. And we, in a marriage, you fall in love almost always with somebody that's different than you. And then as soon as you get married to them, you start trying to change them <laughs> and make them like you are. And that's such a mistake because the reason why we're drawn to people that are not like us is because we need them. We have certain gifts, other people have certain gifts, and the way God wants his body to work is for each of us to bring what we have and work together without comparison or without thinking that our job determines our worth and value. Now, I'm going to say that again. Your job, your career does not determine your worth and value. Amen? We have to stop looking at somebody and thinking because they seem to have what the world would deem as a more important job, and notice I said what the world would deem as a more important job, that that makes that person more important than them or better than them. The only thing that we need to do is find out what God wants us to do and do it, and we will get an equal reward. If I'm on the platform, because that's where God has given me the grace to be, and people listen to me speak, or if I'm a great singer, which I'm not, but there were people up here before me that were, and maybe then there's somebody else here that their job is to stay here after all this is over and clean the place up, maybe clean up the restrooms after us and sweep the place up. People tend to think, well, I'm just a janitor. Or I'm, I hate to hear a woman say, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. Let me tell you, the minute you say that, well, I'm, I'm just this, you're already saying that you're lowering yourself or what you think of yourself. And I'll tell you what, I mean, I remember being home with three kids. And I'll tell you what, that's not just in anything. I mean, that can turn you every which way but loose. And uh, it's, it, it's a big job. You're not just a stay-at-home mom. 
my gosh, you're a, a mother. You're taking care of women, take care of so many things. And they are so valuable and so, such multitaskers. They have tender hearts and they care about things. And so one of my goals today is I want everybody to go out of here today feeling good about yourself. And I want everybody to go out of here knowing that you don't have any reason or right to compare yourself with anybody else. And if you're doing this, I want you to stop comparing yourself with other people. You don't need to look like them, act like them, know what they know, do what they do. You need to just be you. And you don't need to apologize for being you. You need to be yourself because everybody else is already taken. Amen? So, if you get out of your lane and you're trying to run somebody else's race, you're going to sure end up with a wreck in your life. And I can tell you there are people sitting in here today and people listening and watching on different devices and the only reason why you're unhappy is because you're trying to be something you're not. <laughs> I mean, that is the only reason and you're, you're doing it for all the wrong reasons, because you think you're supposed to, because people tell you you should, you ought to. It's amazing, everybody that does something thinks everybody else ought to do it. But that's not the way it should be. You know, I used to sit in church and think, oh man, I wish I could sing like her. Boy, she got... God, she got such a beautiful, I just wish that I could sing like her. And you know, God taught me a lesson. He said, you know, I put gifts in other people for you to enjoy, not for you to be jealous of. Now, I have a gift of communication, and I'm going to be able to communicate some things to you today about the Word of God that's going to help you understand it in a better way. So all you need to do is sit there and enjoy my gift. My gift causes me to have to work, but you get to enjoy it. And see, your gift causes you to have to work, but then I get to enjoy it. And I can tell you, before God can do very much with you, you're gonna have to come to terms with and get comfortable being yourself. Amen? Amen? You can't want to be, oh, I'm, I want to be just like you, or I'm going to be the next Joyce Meyer. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, I hope there's only one of me, and whatever you do, I hope it's greater than anything that I've done. Don't settle for being like somebody else. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. And stop apologizing for yourself. Amen? Amen? Do what you're good at. Don't be afraid to just do what you're good at. I, I, don't, I don't know. Do we really believe God wants us to be happy? Do you really think he's going to force you into a career that's going to make you miserable? <laughs> Wonder how many people keep a job they hate just because they make a little more money than they would make if they took the job they'd really love to do. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna say that again real slow. Do you know how many people hate their job? I hate my job. I hate my boss, I hate the people I work with. I hate the drive to work. God doesn't want us to hate our lives and hate what we do. So you say, well, then why don't, you, why don't you get a different job? Why don't you do something else? Well, you know, I can't afford to give up the money. I make, I make good money. I'll tell you something, joy is a lot more important than money. Now, obviously, I mean, obviously we need money, but 
you'd be better off to find a way to cut your expenses and get a job where you can be happy than to spend your whole life doing something that you hate and dread. And I hope that I push somebody over the edge today and you just get enough guts to just quit that job you can't stand. I mean it. Don't spend your whole life doing something you can't stand. We should love our lives and we should enjoy our lives. And you can't do that if you're trying to be something other than what you are. Want to hear more from Joyce on this topic? We've got you covered. Visit us in the Joyce Meyer app or at JoyceMeyer.org today.